Dinner continues in relative silence for the most part. We wasted. <laughs> but things always have to come to an end. Yeah. Because your legs were getting tired. Hopefully not tired enough to continue this night. Commit coitus. Now. And you tackle him. Oh. <laughs> you really got me with that one. Wow. What the f- Hello everybody, I'm Degenerate, and welcome back to Error 143. I know, I took a while to come back to this game. I think we might be able to finish it today, or I don't know, if I could find my freaking saves. Okay, <laughs> um, where were we? Okay, something to do with cooking. I think we're cooking something. Let's see. Let us begin. You didn't want to just put on your puffer again? It's white. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Who wants to cook in white clothing? Are you praying on my downfall? You act... <laughs> no. You act like wearing a compression shirt to dinner is of any better. It's black, though. So, are you gonna be stupid, or are you gonna be reasonable? Let's pray it's the latter. It's black. Duh! Stain resistant. That's actually a lie. Water resistant. The elastic stretchy material keeps me from getting wet. What? <laughs> it's a long sleeve, so I'm warm. And it shows off my muscles so my day can be wowed. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is a lot better. Gotcha. Just because it's not typically worn in the kitchen doesn't mean it's not the perfect thing to wear right now. Just like how you don't usually date your hackers. But you're perfect for me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Do you want takeout or for me to cook for you? We're in the kitchen! It's my place, shouldn't I- That flicker. It's my place, shouldn't I be getting food for you? You are squandering this. Are you gonna fall for me if I don't get food for you? Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay. I was scared for a second. Um... I think it's the most reasonable to be cooking in this kitchen. What, we're gonna order food in the kitchen? That's so stupid. We're in the kitchen. Cook! Like the woman that you are. Get in the kitchen, cook. Do you think the only reason I like you is because you do things for me? Uh, Question mark. Why else would you like me? Bro. There's no fucking way. Because I like spending... Because I like spending time and talking to you. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice when you do offer, when you do stuff for me, and I appreciate it, but if that flicker keeps happening, I might just pass away. <laughs> uh! That's not why I like you. I like you because you're you? Oh, so I'm not gonna whip up some instant noodles and feed you. Also, I am gonna whip up some instant noodles. In this extravagant looking kitchen? No way. We're making every delicacy known to man. Look, we got fucking... Look, we can make something with the fruit apple pie. Right? We got already made toast in the back. This kitchen is beautiful. We're utilizing it. Give me the option now. You don't wait for his input before reaching into the cabinets and retrieving a couple of red packaged noodles. Such a disappointment, I swear. Neatly, you set them on the counter before grabbing your kettle and filling it up to the water line. This is so dumb. Ramsey would be disappointed. Yeah. 
Look at how beautiful this kitchen looks. And we're making ramen. I'd rather die. You turn on the kettle with a satisfying click. <laughs> Alright. I really don't want to do this. I would rather make something else. Eggs Benedict. Something. Just something else. It's the noodles, huh? So boring. Ah. What are you judging me? Yes! No, no, not at all. I am. I just think that it's a very appropriate first dinner day cuisine for us. No, it is not. Shut up, bro. I'm so disappointed right now. I didn't think I'd be this fucking pissed. Ramen? We go on tangents about making our favorite food, and here you are, making instant noodles for us. So disappointing. You lean back against the granite. Granite, mind you. <laughs> Lifting a brow. Is it not romantic enough for you? It's overwhelmingly romantic. Right. It would not be for me. I would be pissed. I think I'm gonna cry. Then do so, because I'm about to. The flickering. Please don't mind it. Just... I don't know how to fix it. Like, <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious. Mm -hmm. I'm right. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. I really need to understand why you're so easily pleased. The kettle begins to boil. Muted pops within the metal. And you slide open your spice drawer. What? It's not in the packet? Can you handle spice? I don't know why you would even ask that. I'm handling you right now. What? You stare at him for a moment, squint, and roll your eyes, ignoring that comment. Anything you like? I'm adding cheese and egg, and greens, and all that. That's a lot of ands. Sounds good to me. With his affirmation, you wonder, no, wander around the kitchen. This beautiful kitchen. <laughs> Pulling out additional ingredients to make what would have been a sodium high meal into something a little more neutrally, nutritionally balanced. <laughs> we could have made something nutritionally balanced that's not this. Steam rolls out of the kettle spout. The boiling at, what? The boiling at an all-time high, and you unplug it from the socket. Coming through. You circle around. I got this, I got this. Micah, who's flattened himself against the wall with a chuckle. Carefully, you pour the water into the plastic bowls. Last. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> That had already been placed on the dining table. Plastic. We're eating like we just moved in. Oh my god. The vapor from the kettle dissipates in the air, but not before hitting your face on the way up. It's an instinctual dodge. And that puts you out of the steam's way, but at cost of jostling the kettle, spilling a bit of the hot water. No, watch out. Before you could even ask for a towel. Micah's already wiping away at the surface with the rag that you left on the count on the counter. When do you get so perceptive? We both sit down after taking care of the little accident. Waiting for the noodles to cool after replacing the plastic cover. Perceptive? Like helping me set the table up and stuff without having about me having having to ask. Is that not something normal? Seeing that I spilled a bit, knowing when I'm lying and joking, this is when I'm being serious. That kind of perceptive. Micah blinks. A thought visible, visibly dawning on him with the way his features softened. Oh, I do do that, huh? Do do. Uh, yeah, you do. He bends forward, chin dipping into his palm, as he seriously considers the question. 
It's a neutrality that doesn't betray the thoughts in his head. Oh. You know what? I think it's probably because of my dad. Why the fuck did the music stop? He's just... emotionally immature? <laughs> Sounds like we have something in common. The first ever thing in common. So, sometimes things set him off. And as a kid, you just kind of learn to pick up the signs before shit hits the fan. You know? Yes. Yes. You put a hand on his arm. But he wasn't all bad. Right? I remember when he bought me games and played them with me. Mm -hmm. He even took care of Mom and I financially after he left. The f***er even paid for my tuition. Inappropriate speech. <laughs> so, even if he's a little rough around the edges, I... I can't really ignore the good that he managed to do. And that's where we're different. <laughs> Corner of his mouth sucks into his cheek. The softest... No, the softest of smiles born from nostalgia. <laughs> like changing my diapers. But just couldn't remember that. <laughs> Bro, there's no fucking way. This is my night. You know he's referring to when he's a child, but it doesn't stop your brain from conjuring up a mental picture of Micah. A version that's grown and sitting right across from you in baby diapers. Why am I looking at this? I don't know. You in a diaper. Bro. Cute, right? No. That was actually very traumatizing. I hope you're thinking the same thing 80 years from now when I'm wearing them again. Why? Ew. Oh. Mm -mm. That's not. Mm -mm, no. I will, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's scarring. I'm scarred for life. Cause it's like, bro. Why couldn't I see a baby? I wanted to see a baby in a diaper. Oh boy. <laughs> he laughs then. Um, that was, that was really bad. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Mentally scarred. A soft exhale puffing between his lips. Mike is still walking down memory lane. But this time a bit more pensive. I never understood why my mom got mad at him so often. But after growing up, it made sense. A fucking diaper, bro. He was irresponsible with money. Didn't take loss as well. Gambler? I, uh, kind of understand it better now, though. Like... After I started working, mm -hmm. the shit he did was and never will be excuse. But he had to have been scared of losing it all. I'm financially fine now, but duh, that hadn't been the case before. And I got a taste of the weight he must have felt then. Every paycheck I got in high school was enough to pay that month's bills. And. Maybe something a little more fancy for dinner. Yeah, like not ramen. But living like that, you can't really consider it a happy life. I was helpless and anxious all the time. There's a crease between his brow, and when he next spoke, his voice is pitched with a lingering helplessness. Oh god. Back then I... Didn't even have enough to get mom the anime figurine she wanted for her birthday. <laughs> How old was your mom, bro? I got her cards and a bouquet, and, and don't get me wrong, she was still happy with it. Uh. But I wished I could have gotten her more. Always more. A birthday isn't really much of a celebration if it's the same thing every year, you know? 
Stupid and selfish thought to have. Huh? He chuckles, afraid of the tension he created. The sense of finality in his tone hints that he won't consider anything otherwise. But it didn't feel right to leave it at that. Hmm. No, not at all. I mean, you just wanted to give the best. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's sweet. Micah's attention previously zoned in on a spot on the table. Um, had kind of had come up to settle on yours. A small em epiphany. Yeah, makes his eyes glimmer like an unclaimed treasure, and he dons the smallest of smiles. Oh shit. You could have been the first person to hear this story or the first to have ever offered words of comfort. But he visibly brightens as if your words had completely soothed the unease he's been harboring all this time. Either way, you had been the first person to say something so kind, or he really considers your thoughts with a lot of importance. And. Oh shit. The nudes are getting soggy. This is why we. The crinkle of rum. You go with the ramen lid, snaps you out of your thoughts, and you jump into action. Tearing through the lid yourself with a good natured jab. It's because you talked for so long. Or maybe it's because we just made the wrong meal. Well, like, you liked listening to me. Told you that. I hope. Oh, then yes. Always. After giving him a pat on the arm, you turn to your hopefully salvageable meal. No, it was a goner from the start. The noodles luckily aren't too soggy. There's less soup than you'd liked, but it's still delicious, and the two of you done in one slurp. Whoa! All right? <laughs> Seriously, though. Thanks for listening. Uh, you're welcome. I was going to say something else, but... I hope nice. it wasn't too much at the end. Nah. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. It was fun learning more about you. Aw, really? Yeah. I'm not lying. I'm not being sarcastic. I actually, yes. Yes, nice getting to know you, fault and all. Mm hmm. You could write three books about my fucking childhood. And they're not exactly good books. Even though nothing you told me was a fault, just, you know. Just the hard stuff to talk about. I'm like you. I'll like you nonetheless. I'll put this say I'm like you. Huh? I feel the same way. He looks at you with an affection that sends you spiraling and you jab at your noodles. I thought we took it in one slurp. Oh, okay. Alright, focus on your dinner. You're making me and my stomach self-conscious. Huh? <laughs> Alright. I'll dial it back. Dinner continues in relative silence for the most part. We wasted. <laughs> Bro. It breaks when Micah. Okay. Slurps a little too loudly, enough to be an exaggeration, and you kick him under the table. Fun fact! Right? And I feel like, I feel like everyone knows this already. But when you, it's polite in Japan to slurp your noodles because it, it tells the chef um, that they, that you liked your meal without having to tell him or them, whoever made it. Almost joking on your meal when you laugh. Just a little fun fact. They show their shake in poorly, disguised amusement, and you feel him brush against your leg and kick back. You roll your eyes. He's such a dork. Mm. You're telling me. This is good. I've never had this brand before. Mm-hmm. Good. Now you can only think of me whenever you see this logo. I actually have seen that one before. <laughs> like once or twice. He pauses himself up after hearing you say that, asking... Oh, you want me to think about you more than I already do? There it is. It's back again. Doesn't sound possible, Angel. Mm-hmm. You are just so ugh. Too much? <laughs> Never. 
You must make me feel so happy. Oh, you, I was like, demanding happiness? Jesus, you just make me feel so happy. <laughs> I can't take it. <clears throat> so how did you like your noodles? Is this shit gonna do that the whole time? <laughs> Usually, it's not like this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gourmet or something? No, I like semi-cheap noodles. Oh my god. Because <laughs> I grew up with the low-cost stuff, and the expensive stuff just tastes really thick to me. Or... too... flavorful? I guess I'll be too flavorful. Or I'm just not used to the smell. But the super cheap stuff is just watered down. Oh my god, bro. That's actually true. I have a favorite brand, but I just remember the colors on the package being red and black too, though. Huh. But they weren't these ones. Can't read the characters on it, though. I'll look for that one next time. Oh shit, I gotta click on it. Why? So you can... There it is again! Maybe I'll need the reminder. Totally. I've told you already. Um, what was it? It was Lucian. Having to think about him is harmful to the brain. He was like... Every other sentence was a flirt of some, of some sort. Or... What's, what's that word? An innuendo for something. This one's just the same. Without, you know, the bad ending Sergio bit. Now trust me, you won't. There it is, see? Uh-huh. I don't know where you get your bravado from. From you blushing every time I open my mouth. Me being super black? Just kidding. I hate that I can't just end the call anymore. Right? Even then, we couldn't do it anyways. Yeah? And you're smiling like that because you really want to leave? Let me think about it. <laughs> I should probably just excuse myself every time I make you laugh too. Huh. Shut up and eat your food. Yeah. Whatever you say, Angel. Shut up and eat your garbage. After chugging- damn. After chugging the broth, <laughs> he makes his bowl essentially spotless. <gasps> Go back! Then looks at you to see that you're still eating. To not interrupt you, he goes to the fridge. Do we have you ice cream? A drink? Oh. I guess... I usually just have water. Uh, like... You nod even though you're unable to see him. When he comes back, he poured you a drink that you didn't even know you had. You cock your head as if to ask him what it is. It's your orange peach mango juice with strawberry lemonade on the top. What? That exists? Wow, I've got myself a bona fide barista. In a way. What can I say? I know how to pour drinks. How do you put a lick a specific liquid on top of another liquid without it like clashing? You take a sip of the drink and it's a refreshing taste that you haven't experienced before. You really do know your stuff. I'm happy that it tastes good. Good. Because if it was disgusting, I would have regretted this whole fing meal. You slightly finished no, silently. How do you slightly finish a meal? You silently finished your meal without rushing as Micah Okay. Stared into space. He traces his fingers on the glass, lost in thought. The first still and quiet moment between the two of you. Oh my god, are you serious? It feels warm, his presence. It's like standing under the sunlight after days of only seeing it through the window cooped up at home. Oh shit. You're so distracted by the warmth of his smile that you don't register him taking the glass and washing them in the sink. He's such a male wife. Your mind wanders to how- what the fuck is happening? <laughs> to how life could be like eating all your meals with him. Hopefully Earth not- Angel. You there? Fucking ramen every day. Or every other day. Make an actual meal. Like shrimp alfredo or something. Shrimp alfredo? 
Um, so yeah, sorry. You try to fan the blush rising to your cheeks and think about a way to cool down. Want to take a walk? Sure. I mean... You said we take a walk, but this is more just like standing outside. Okay. <laughs> like, obviously. It's my definition of taking a walk. We walked from the kitchen to my backyard, didn't we? Oh yeah, the backyard that's filled with like flowers. Wow. Are you really that unathletic? Yup. Not all of us are as well-rounded as you are. Sorry that I can't be nerdy, rich, and athletic. Like, what can't you do? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Don't forget, attractive and funny. <laughs> totally. Wow. Can hear I was thinking that you were going to say something humble. Guess that's the only thing you have, huh? Don't need that. As long as I have you. There it is again. Wow. Are you trying to make me add a smooth talker to the list? No. I'm trying to make you add skilled kisser. That... No. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I can't help but laugh, bro. <laughs> if someone did that shit in real life, I'd literally punch them hard. Like, bruise type hard. Kissing on the first day we met? Yikes. What if I told you that I liked the slow burn, the waiting and wanting? Then I'd tell you that I have all the patience and time in the world. Good. But just so you know, I've been waiting and wanting. Damn. Now you gotta wait more. <laughs> What are you talking about? You don't know how badly I wanted to kiss you when I saw you this morning. Damn. How badly? On a scale of 1 to 10. Oh shit, I have to click the dots. Whoopsies. I don't think you know how much I like you. Oh shit. I miss just conversing with you. <laughs> Yo, this shit is like... To me... <laughs> I feel like if I heard this in real life, bro... I would be so like... <laughs> you might be thinking I might be a puddle on the floor. No, I literally wouldn't believe a word they were telling me. I'd be like, shut the f up, because you're obviously lying. In some way or another, mm -hmm. whether it be video call, text, emojis, or even hieroglyphics, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Although, real life. <laughs> might be my favorite way of conversing with you. Oh, what the hell? That's everyone's favorite. Okay, you win. You're sweet. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Walking? I remember. I'm not an idiot. My brain is just all... Mushy. I guess. Yeah, maybe. Doesn't it make you want to kiss me? Does it? That is the question. Is to be or not to be? Oh my god. No, I want you to wait for <laughs> Save it. Yeah! Save. Um, for the girlies out there, we're gonna do the first, the obvious yes option. Your eyes flicker between his eyes and his lips. His eyes do the same, acknowledging your desire. Oh shit. Me inches closer to you. And... Oh shit! <gasps> what the f***? Oh, y'all must be pissed right now. My bad. I gotta be pissed. I was doing it a moment <laughs> to keep track of the music. What? You were controlling the music all this time, huh? Yeah. 
You didn't notice? No! What the fuck? I thought it was all in my head. Ah! Breaking the fourth wall! Stop it! <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. Like, I thought the music was playing because... You like me? Nah, nigga, it's because of fuck. it was a fucking game. Yeah. Come on now. Don't lie. <laughs> no? In a way, I thought that was his phone or something. Like, what the fuck? I'm just trying to make you falling in love with me seem like one of those romantic K-dramas. Why well, gotta be one of those? Why can't it be a regular one? <laughs> well, it's working. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Sorry, okay. Go ahead. Is a nice song all it takes for you to fall for someone? To be honest, no. I actually have a list. I wouldn't necessarily say that. You're making me scared. Uh-oh. Shivering? Actually? Quaking in your boots. I'm never gonna let anyone else play romantic music around you. Yeah, you better not. I'm gonna fall so fast. I don't think anyone else ever will. Oh shit, clicking. I think you're the only person that's been, that's both dorky and suave enough to pull off this kind of stunt. You never know. Bet you before I arrived, you never thought anyone would do this either. What you about to do? But here I am. Oh. Yeah. Here you are. <gasps> uh, you brush your fingers against his just to make sure he's real. It's the first time you've ever touched him. What? <laughs> You're enamored thinking about how his, his hand would feel in yours. Having his arms wrapped around you. Or. Damn. What? what are you touching me for? <clears throat> you want me, huh? Yeah, I got it. What do you mean? Oh shit, two options? Oh shit! Ah! Um, what do you mean I want you? Yeah, I do. Whoa! Save. What is this shit about to initiate, bruh? Loki, yeah, I do, because that's so romantic. It's definitely right behind my climbing through my window on the list. Mm hmm. The list? Oh, should I just say I had a list? Don't worry about it. You're right. I have bigger things to worry about. <laughs> what is that? Like what? Your eyes trails. No, your eye trails to his trembling hand. And you look up to see that his ears are red from blushing. Me not being able to see his ears? Why are you blushing all of a sudden? It's not sudden. Mm hmm I was holding back the blush for as long as I could. He pouts and looks away, not letting you see his face. You assume that this could be the hidden mica that he doesn't let you see. I always forget, I'm sorry. This must be what he's like after he ends your calls. Out of embarrassment. Too flustered to converse. No, conversate. To bring out the bravado that you're so used to. Why? What? Oh. What? Why are you holding your hiding your face? Look at me. Uh, no. He says. Too bad. Uh, we're probably gonna force him. Why are you so embarrassed? We're not even holding hands. We're not? I could have swore- <sighs> But I felt your pinky on mine. There's no f***ing way. I know, I touched your pinky with my pinky. Guys, come on now. <gasps> it was on purpose. <gasps> Maybe. Of course it was on purpose. Why? What's wrong? Why are you pointing it out? You're making... <laughs> oh shit. Were you making me... You're making me feel self-conscious. I... Uh... I can't think. 
I'm only thinking about the pinky touch. There's no way. Have you never touched someone before? The pinky touch, you're so lame. Uh, then why do you want to touch my pinky, bro? Ain't no fucking way. There's just so many other things you could be, like, blushing about. But it, the pinky, that's what's getting you? Rap. I don't know, I just wanted to. What would you call this? If not pinky touch time. <laughs> the moment before our first kiss. It did it not happen already? The time where a weirdo tried to flirt with me. Huh. What do I say? I could have swore that happened already, but let's try it. Kiss him, don't kiss him. I could have swore we did this already. You lean in until you're millimeters away from his lips. But you hesitate the last second, wondering if this was the right move. I picked it, didn't I? You feel a trembling hand slide up your neck to the back of your head, supporting it. You don't know if he's trembling out of excitement or nervousness. But you always thought it was endearing. How he never left that, let that stop him from doing what he wants. Oh, are you hesitating now in a way i clicked it faster than you would have his voice sends butterflies straight to your stomach your eyes glued to his lips wanting <sighs> damn i feel like you've never touched someone yeah definitely he brings his lips to yours then Cause what the fuck? Who doesn't like? <laughs> who goes crazy over this? Ain't no fucking way. The kiss is soft and tender at first, <laughs> of course. <laughs> your grip tightens, teasingly tilting your body backwards, as if you're about to fall. Almost as to leave, he gives you. No, he gives chase, pulling your waist towards his, holding you closer. Tighter. Your bodies bump against each other and your fingers curl around his chain. The cold metal tingles uh, against your overheated skin. I had to remember that he was wearing a chain. You can feel his heart racing under your fingertips. You can feel it in your chest too. The beats of your heart melting into a frantic synchronized pulse. His fingers press into your skin, tapping against your sides. The nervous energy almost bursting out of him as your... As your tongue intertwines with his. <laughs> you almost forgot that he... Yeah. How do you forget something like that? You almost forgot that he has a two-tipped tongue. Until you feel it flush against your own. Sending a pulse of excitement across your nerves. It's like a sensation unlike any other. <laughs> and just when you think the experience couldn't get any more exhilarating, you feel the metallic smoothness of his piercing gliding against you. In addition, unfairly addicting. My god. Oh, wait. I said in addition. It's addicting. Unfairly addicting. My god, you had no chance. <laughs> you kiss him until the need for breath becomes undeniable. And you gently push him away. When you look at, up at him, it's obvious that the both of you are desperately trying to catch your breaths. With flustered cheeks and racing hearts. Your eyes meet for a second, but it's obvious he's still thinking about your lips on his. As his eyes flicker back and forth. Catch your breath, yeah. Nah. You try to hide your smile and beating heart from frowning as hard as you can. You completely fall. I could kiss you forever. <laughs> Wait, did it say fall or fail? I'm not going back. And he pulls you back in for more. With your brain registering more of what's happening this time, you feel the softness and warmth of his lips. You wish that you could feel them from his hand as well. But the fabric around you doesn't allow that. Oh, the warmth. 
My bad. You gently glide his hands at the bottom of your shirt. Under it. Oh my fucking god. You're telling me. How ballsy are we? Look at that. <laughs> he deepens the kiss, his fingers tapping more rapidly against you. As if it were matching his heartbeat. His other hand slowly wanders to your waist and you're holding onto his neck to stabilize. Your knees weak from all the stimulation. It's only when your legs give out and you stumble a bit that the both of you break away from another. <laughs> well, obviously I'm not gonna say that. Inappropriate. <laughs> what? I thought you were the one that wanted a kiss. Pretty sure it was you, buckaroo. I can't believe you were getting so embarrassed over <laughs> Binky touches a second ago. I feel like I just got played. Well, obviously. There's no way. I was genuinely embarrassed. Never mind. <laughs> I take about what he said. But? I guess I just wanted you more than I was aware of. <laughs> I'm never kissing you again. Ah, uh, I don't believe that for a second. Me neither. I missed the Micah that embarrassed- that was embarrassed over Pinky Touches. The one that was like two seconds ago. How can you miss something that's right here? Never mind. You're not him, he wouldn't kiss me like that. Mm -mm. Like what? That- what is that supposed to initiate the next one? Can you describe it for me, Angel? I don't think that Micah would be such a good kisser. Oh. So it was good. Okay. Thank you for kissing. You were making me a little insecure there, saying F you right after we kiss. Yes. Yeah, right. Look at that smirk on your face. Oh, was I not hiding that? <laughs> My bad. Your literal emotion all the time is smirk. I'm just so happy that you wanted me to kiss you. Shut up! I'm not falling for your tricks again. Tricks? Oh, you mean what I did with my tongue back there. How the fuck am I supposed to read that? Whoa. I didn't know that people could keyboard smash in real life. Brat. That's hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel the opposite way. I could have read that, though. The I hate you part? What? 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 Does that mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's obvious. Okay, but I want you to say it. I don't know. You said you hated me a second ago. Ah, uh, my eye. You know I didn't mean that. Then don't f say it. Oh, then what did you mean? <laughs> In a way. <laughs> Uh. Well, you know. No, I don't know. I want to hear you say it. Ah! I. I'm going insane. All right. Are you not coming in? <laughs> I don't think I should. Hmm. Thought you were gonna say something else. Cause I would have. Wow, that kiss got you f***ed up, huh? I mean, I was already squealing over pinky touches. If we keep talking about pinky touches, I might shove mine all the way up my ass. Until I feel my tonsils. And that was a lot more. Don't think you control yourself with me or something? Yeah. A little bit. But mostly just thinking. About what? No, oh, it's a secret. <laughs> I hate when people do that. <laughs> Damn, post kiss clarity hit you hard. I'm trying to find out what you'll be thinking about after. Finit, get out of here. Hey, do you want to dance? What? <laughs> I mentioned dancing under the stars because I've always wanted to do it. 
with someone that I like. Not the dancing I'm talking about. Definitely not. Like, you know, romantically. Duh. And it's also pretty hot that you have it on your list, too. Like, <laughs> are we soulmates? Or what? I'm fine. I don't know how to dance. Rap. Perfect. In a way. Cause me neither. Just stand on my toes and let me sway you around. <laughs> Bro, it's not dancing. It's just swaying back and forth. I can't believe that I let you make fun of my definition of talk taking a walk when this is your definition of dancing. Would you rather see my definition of working out too? Because of this, right? To be honest, I would. Like... <sighs> I don't see some fat package. I literally... Like, I'm having withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> like, that shit that happened in yours game pissed me the <laughs> off. Because I'm trying to see... Okay, I guess I gotta do it myself. I gotta do it myself. I have to make a game myself <laughs> that features this motion right here. Damn. Um, take off the pants now. Well, it's okay. the same as dancing because dancing is working out. <laughs> right. The queen size bed that was in that room earlier, let's utilize it, please. What so, fuck? won't you work out with me? No, because this is not it. <laughs> I'm looking for something else right now. That is the most unromantic thing I've heard in a while. So it's a yes? Nah. Because I know, I know I'm about to be bamboozled. I just know it. I must be tricked. Yes. Hello? This shit fucking broke. <laughs> My curse will fucking disappear. I jump scared again. Can I ask you an intrusive thought? Rap. Yeah, of course. When did you start liking me? You're probably gonna say immediately, bro. Cause I- Yum! <laughs> I was immediately attracted to you when you made me laugh over text. Yep, I fucking do it. So a couple of memes is all it takes. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, at first. But over time, how genuine you are definitely won me over. <laughs> I think. I'm still a little winded by all the nice words you've said to me. Um, I'm still a little giddy from it, so forgive me for giving you such a thoughtless answer. I just can't think of anything else right now. That's where we're different again, bro. <laughs> How much money do I have to pay, bro? To get you to take off your, your pants. How much money? I have like four dollars. What can you do with that? You smile at him with disbelief. Thoughtless answer my ass. If that's a thoughtless answer, I don't want to find out what a thoughtful one is. You sure? Nah, I'm just okay with you. <laughs> How about you? Do I have an answer? What made you fall for me? Put it in the comments, because I genuinely want to know. I think it was oh, our banter and how sweet and genuine you are. That's like the same as what he said. Your confidence and how vulnerable you are, how playful you are, and how hard you try to make things entertaining. Huh. I feel like this is the most accurate, I guess. How playful you are. 
and how hard you try to make things. Yeah, because it... Mm -hmm. I fully agree with this last one. Yeah. Initially, your playfulness defi definitely pulled me in. Yeah. But I still notice that you always try to make things from... What? I feel like that doesn't make sense. But I slowly noticed that you always tried to make things from and entertaining for me. From and entertaining? Oh, fun and entertaining. I'm stupid. No matter what the circumstances are. Whether we're in a, uh, the miles away from each other or just in my backyard. Crazy fucking backyard. Did you grow these flowers yourself? Jesus. You always brighten up my day when with you with your little shenanigans i just want to tell you that your efforts aren't lost on me <laughs> what when did that happen also nothing's being said so i'm just gonna read it you liked me sending you my abs the second day we met don't remember that I literally don't. I was thinking of how sweet it was when you asked me for this dance, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like that too. Deja. Got you. You make me so happy. You pulled him closer to you, your arms around his neck. Your cheeks pressed against his skin. Chin. His smell comforts you. His warm, soft, comfortable. Oh, he's warm, soft, and comfortable. But things always have to come to an end. Yeah. Because your legs were getting tired. Hopefully not tired enough to continue this night. Commit, Coatus. Now. You never thought that you'd regret always sitting in front of the computer screen. But here you were, fragile and weak. You better save some of that energy. I'm not kidding. Sigh. Don't laugh. Shall I carry your highness in then? Yup. Cause I know exactly what that does to a, a a person with ovaries. So go. Reluctantly, yes. No, 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 no. You're gonna be all in for this bullshit. Let's go. He swoops you into a princess carry, walking to your room. He cradles you in one arm as he slides the door open. <gasps> Not sure if you'd call it a struggle, but you feel his grip on you tighten a bit. Muscles bulging. Yeah, so strong. Maybe being weak wasn't such a bad thing after all. You're hurting me. You hug his neck tighter, partially to make it easier for him to carry you. But mostly just because you want to be closer to him. Great. Let's get real close. Let's get real close. And cop a little feel. Duh. Once he gets in, he heads to your bed and plops you down softly. Okay. He starts to walk away. Why? You're not going to cuddle me? Where are you going? Because <laughs> that's what I would do. <laughs> Um, god damn it. No, 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 no. Where are you going? I was just going to close the door. And lock it, hopefully. Good. He closes the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to be embraced by these bad boys? Nope. Whole different word. Let's get her done. Uh... He kisses his biceps. I knew there was a reason I got in the gymming. Mm hmm. I take everything I said back. I was kind of hot. You're sleeping on the floor. You're. I'm so tired of playing as the stupidest MCs ever. But I'm gonna try to pick everything that might initiate intercourse really yep you should let me kiss them too yep <laughs> with clothing off do you hear me off the opposite of on get her done 
Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that is not a queen size bed, but we'll make it work. <laughs> You're not gonna let me kiss them. Mm -hmm. I really want to kiss them. This is what I'm saying right now. You, you can, if you want. Mm -hmm. You gotta do something for me first, hon. You gotta take off a shirt. But do you want me to? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. You inch close to him and... I'm supposed to be seeing a line here that says he takes off his shirt. So. Because it's the only way I know. Ow. This is gonna progress. You inch closer to him, planting a peck on his arm. Right. You can feel him flexing. Right. You know what I'd like to see flexing right now? <laughs> yeah! Just for you. Question mark. You think it's cute when he tries. But all you see, um... <laughs> see him as... Is a trembling mess even after he carried you with ease. Wanted to tease you more, you suck on his skin a bit, nibbling it. <sighs> <laughs> I think we should stop here. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. inquire. For no particular reason at all. <sighs> oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> All right, let me crawl into your arms instead. Right, because that's what I wanted to do right now. Taking a deep breath and you try to fall asleep. This is fucking binary star hero all over again. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm tired of sleeping. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck. Okay. But not before saying good night. Oh. Wait, there's still hope. Good night, Pookie Bear. <laughs> Fucking Pookie Bear. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face right now. This is pissing me off. You smile when he responds back quick um, on the uptake, even though you're both dead tired. Uh, how was your day? Ain't no way we're doing this right now. I thought we were gonna go to sleep. Because if you're not gonna... Look! Down there. You see that? That's called midrift. Explore. Explore. Like the little adventurer you are. Get her done. How was your day? Sugar snap pea. Oh, it was perfect, Snookums. Right. This this little uh what's it called? Back and forth thing isn't working no more. <laughs> we need to get down to business. Clock in. Oh, was it now? How was yours, darling? Terrible. Terrible. Awful. Just fine. Actually, yeah. We're gonna accept that answer with our chest. It was only fine. It would have been amazing if a certain sword shithead <gasps> shit face. Mm hmm You pause. And you can say insults. Joking, of course, but still. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. How about you? Not, not if I win. What are we doing here? <laughs> Why are we playing games? I understand that it is a game, but it's like, why are we playing them? <laughs> we can't play a game within a game. No. I want to see this right now. I'm not going to ask again. I'm tired. 
of playing this 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 little this little like game that we have going on once we tackle i want to see clothes off in the next second i'm not kidding show me the package that i bought now you tackle micah and he rolls from your grasp get her done this is literally the perfect opportunity if it no out go ahead you know what at this point i'm gonna be patient now i'll be patient now i promise it's a push and pull with your primarily <clears throat> with you primarily attempting to push him off the bed as he pulls you over and you think you had the upper hand for a moment until he pins you in place chest heaving you stare to his gold eyes and find traces of amusement in them as he grins i i win <laughs> great now enter your prize i have to go pee you're fucking me you don't know no, you're not actually well okay He lets you go, and you tackle him. Oh, <laughs> you really got me with that one. Wow. What the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? I'm sorry for raising my voice. Really, I am. Go ahead. Make a grasp. No, gasps. Get that word right, you dummy. Like he was genuinely surprised. Like because it's obvious that it isn't. With a huge grin on his face. Cheeky guy. I have emerged victorious. Now I need something to emerge from the lower region. Go. You cheater! You cheated! Mm-hmm. All's fair in love and war. Love? How'd I know? War. Now take him off. He hugs you softly. His arm's squishy and firm. Squishy and firm? <laughs> you feel his heart racing. He cradles your head, patting it softly. All stuff that's not inherently sexual. Does it feel good? What? Do you feel good? <laughs> what the fuck? I feel incredibly good. I don't. You know, it was always my dream to be held like this. Especially at night. Bitch. When the, <laughs> when the busy thoughts fade and I'm all alone. I always wish that I had someone to rely on. Keep all the ghosts away. Spoopy. Protect me from bugs and bad thoughts. I fucking hate insects. Ugh. So right now I feel incredibly good. That's a lie. What about you? Do you ever think about things like this? Get lonely at night. Oh shit. Mm. What am I talking about? You've got Scrunkly. Yeah, but Scrunkly doesn't talk to me the way you do. Right. Everything I do with you is hella fucking fun. You turn a simple moment into something more every time. <laughs> you turn banter into flirting. Mm -hmm. Pinky touches turn into a kiss. Right. A cuddle into a heartfelt moment. Mm. I mean, I've never had dreams of cuddling someone, but I'm sure I'll start having dreams about cuddling you. Oh. Be patient. Patience. Patience is a virtue. You scrunch your face at him, unable to process how sweet he's being. I hope you get nightmares about me. Trust me. If I have a dream about you and I wake up in a cold sweat, it'd be a different kind of dream. <laughs> the liquid guy. No shit! Get her done. The one where you piss your pants. 
No, you dumbass. <sighs> I wish you'd let me be cool in front of you sometimes. In no fucking way. Take them off. Take them off. Being cool is intimate. Sorry, you just don't have the skill, bud. Yeah. I'm quite warm right now. Aren't Let's I? get warmer. Let's get warmer. Wow, warm as an uncool? What was my point? Sorry. I'm just now learning that I get quite hot and heavy when I'm with the person I like. Hmm. Oh, or is that your heat? Hmm. <laughs> You're so weird. Right. I guess I'm the weirdest person in the fucking room then. If I'd like to see things get heated. I don't even know what you're saying half the time. You're fucking stupid, then. Because there's no way you don't get it. I just make stuff up as I go along. <laughs> right. Now let's make up a scenario where you don't have clothes on. I don't know either, honestly. I don't know anything. You know what I know? <laughs> I'ma keep this train going! I'ma keep it going. Do you know what I know? <laughs> I know that if you don't take off your clothes in the next five seconds, I'm closing the game. Like, how soon are you supposed to have feelings? Why are we talking about this? I googled it and it said it usually takes three months until one of us can say I love you. Google? You know what you should Google next? The Kama Sutra. Get it done. Why'd you Google that? Hmm. Do you love me? Mm-hmm. What the fuck's about to happen? No way. It's 12.01? You've reached the end of day five? What? 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 You're bugging. No. I'm being lied to. What? What? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna burn something down. I'm gonna commit arson. <laughs> Inferno. <laughs> I'm gonna commit arson on my own home. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? Ah! 5.1? What do you mean 5.1? 5. 5. now. That was day five of error 143. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it took a while. If you guys enjoyed just that day, please leave it a like. Uh, I do very much apologize for holding it back for so long because in the back of my head, I knew nothing was gonna happen. I had a feeling, but I had to get it out for you guys. I know you guys love this guy. So, of course, subscribe for more updates on this game, because I'm not going to stop here. Now, at this point, I can't stop. I can't stop here. No. So, with all of that being said, I will see you guys next time.